everyone. I've wanted to paint a watercolor of my new cat for a long time, and today's the day. She's been with us for about nine months, and my husband Jeff and I are crazy about her. Our old man cat, Q, loves her too. She has the run of the place. Most of the time, I don't even mind when she walks on my paintings. Jeff and I made up her name, and my niece, Belle, is going to show you how to pronounce it. Nookie, can you say the word pooj? Can you say pooj for me? Pooj. That'll work. The next minute of video is blurry, unfortunately. Either Pooj or I must have bumped my camera, so to make up for that, here is a slideshow of some cute pictures and videos of Pooj. If you follow her on Instagram, you will get one of these every day or two. She is a beautiful model and has many things to say. Meanwhile, as you can see, I'm painting her fur with a combination of gold and blue. Pooj is a golden shaded blue tabby, so she has both warm and cool colors in her fur. It's challenging. I was so disappointed when I realized that this part of the video was going to be blurry, but actually what you're seeing is blurry anyway, and you know how I work. I will go over everything again and again. The age difference between Q and Pooj is massive. It's like we have an 80-year-old man and a 10-year-old girl. I'm sure she'd love it if he had the same amount of energy that she does, but he plays and cuddles with her a lot. Okay, the focus is on now. The blurry underpainting has dried, and I have started to establish where her stripes are. I'm using my old standby brush I use for textures, a fuzzy, messed up number six round brush. The bristles are fuzzed out in every direction, and when I put a small amount of paint on it and lightly dust it over my paper, I get a texture that looks a lot like fur. I'll also be using a number one round brush for smaller details. At the beginning of this video, when Pooj walked through my shot, I was applying masking fluid to the places where she is whitest, such as her whiskers and parts of her fur. Once I'm finished with her fur, I'll remove the masking fluid to reveal the paper underneath, and those areas will appear white. I think tabby cats are so beautiful. I love the M shape that Pooj has on her forehead, and her tail is this giant plume that's striped like a raccoon's. Pooj is a Scottish straight, which is the same as a Scottish fold, except her ears stick up. Some of her brothers and sisters have folded ears, and some have straight ones like hers. Her eyes are round and enormous, and they bug out in this very cute way that makes her seem alarmed or concerned when she's completely relaxed. Jeff and I really have to fight the urge to take on Pooja's expression when we look at her. Her father's eyes are nearly orange, and her mother's are greenish, so Pooja ended up with eyes that can look either brown or golden in most lights. They are lined black, and I cannot get enough of them. I'm continuing to add darker layers to her stripes. In certain lights, Pooj can look almost white, but here the lighting is a little odd. The windows behind her are backlighting her, and she is looking in the direction of my painting lamp, and this combination brought out the shadows in her fur somehow. My uh, setup is making my painting appear to be a shade or two lighter than the actual painting. This is the first time I've painted Pooj, but earlier this year I drew and then painted a cartoon version of her that I like very much. I'm sure I'll paint her many more times the way I did with Bun. Below I'll link to a similar video I made a few years ago of Bun in her basket. This painting of Pooj reminds me of another Bun painting I made called Studio Assistant. The title for Pooj's picture is Art Director. This video has been sped up 30 times to create a video that is watchable. So every two seconds equals about a minute's work. Fur takes patience, and I don't know how many times I went over these same spots, just slowly building things up. With a lot of these passes, it seems like nothing much changes, and that's what it takes to create fur with lots of dimension. I worked on Pooj for about four hours. The background and everything else took a similar amount of time to complete, maybe more. I'm using my small brush to create a little variety in the dark areas. Pooja's fur is extra plush and she sheds a lot, especially now that the winter is over. I'll find little cotton candy-like tumbleweeds of it around the house, but that's a small price to pay for something this cute. 
We got her when she was about 12 weeks old and we were told that she was very smart, a good eater, and she loves to play. I think she views me as a big cat too and I spent a lot of time teaching her how to be a cat. We stalk and chase each other all over the house. When I remove the blue tape from a painting, I'll wad it up into a ball and that's her favorite toy. I'll throw it and she will chase it at top speed. She loves her various routines throughout the day and has become increasingly talkative. Pooj is a very shy girl around strangers and when we have visitors she will disappear for as long as they are around. She loves to monitor the woods and its creatures and the changing seasons. She is absolutely fascinated with the sink and the dishwasher and everything I do in the kitchen. She checks in with Jeff and me throughout the day as we work upstairs and she likes to sit in the spot that you see her on my desk. Her paw is on a plastic triangle I use to make straight lines and right angles and she really likes that thing for some reason. And here is my finished painting of our sweet little girl. Thanks a lot for watching.